Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going once again on that from Nasdaq Bits? I got this for nine bucks a Wally World Westinghouse six inch lithium ion rechargeable fan. It's Westinghouse since 1886. So the thing that interests me is wait a sec, this thing has a battery on the inside. Fans take a lot of power, so there must be a lot of power within this battery in order to keep that fan going. How long could it go? Maybe 10 minutes? Actually, what I'm really wondering about is can I take that battery out and use it as a uh, backup battery? So there's only one way to find out, folks. Let's just get right into it. Yeah, that's right. If this thing works, I'm just going to carry this fan around under my arm all the time in case my phone needs more power. And that, once again, is just in case. A super long micro USB cable and a power supply. This power supply has an output of 5 volts, 0.5 amps. That's it? Really? 0.5 amps? Okay, 5 volts, 0.5 amps. That's almost nothing for a fan. Let's see if it has any power. Oh, yeah, it's got power. That's what the ladies like the true power. That's pretty good. Now this is really basic kind of technology, but really useful, just super freaking useful. Now let's see if we can pull, ooh, that's, that's metal, that's nice. That gives it real weight. Let's see if we can get a charge out of the back cable. Oh my goodness, check this out. Check it out, I'm actually charging. I can actually use this battery to charge. So that means, yes, friends, I'm gonna be carrying this around with me wherever I go in my back pocket, just in case my phone loses power. So most of the information that we want on this thing is just uh, here on the back. Six inch lithium ion fan, voltage DC, five volts, six watts. The battery capacity is 400 milliamp hours. That is pretty good. I'm just gonna go out and get like 10 of these for my lights out kit. That way if the power goes out, I can always have fans on even in the winter and I'll always have power to keep my cell phones going. And I got so many cell phones that I use it for light backup when the power goes out. Look at all these cell phones. Really, who needs all these cell phones? This isn't even my final form. Seriously though, I do have a bad habit of keeping these things charged so that when the lights go out, I can use the flash as a light around my place. I mean, who needs flashlights when you got cell phones, right? Okay, so after removing three or four Phillips head screws, bust it open, and interestingly enough, this is what we got. This is all we got. So the batteries that we have in here are basically two of the same kind of units you would find in any of these generic kind of power banks. We got two of them in here. So here's where the USB hooks in, here's the circuit board that uh, keeps the information and the on button. Of course the battery. And then uh, this unit. So for nine bucks Canadian, that's definitely worth the money, especially if you want to take that out and put it in a new housing. You could basically just probably take, I bet that's terminated. I'm gonna take that motherboard off and see if it's terminated. All right, so I gotta say, this thing is really well made. I've heard of situations where Westinghouse didn't make the best things, but I'm really happy with the circuit board here because they actually left terminations for everything. On the other side of that circuit board, you don't really see a lot. Come on, autofocus. You don't really see a lot, but you do see terminations for everything. Everything is terminated, nothing soldered indirectly. And I can just remove the fan portion and uh, jury rig everything else up as an external battery if I wanted to. Of course I'm going to want to, because I need to. Now I don't really mean like I need to as if I really need to, but I need to because I have to, because I'm just that type of person that likes to mess with things. Ultimately, this is how it works. Press the button. For nine bucks, that is super cool. 
two and a half hours. That's what I managed to get out of this thing. I fully charged up the battery and then ran it till it died. It died at two and a half hour mark. And we can still turn it on. It's just, uh, after about 30 seconds, it just turns itself off. And interestingly enough, when you turn it on, it gives you 100%. This is the kind of thing that just dies all of a sudden. Just like that, it just cut out, not even 30 seconds. Interesting how it works that way. Now, I don't really need a fan too much, but I do really need a charger. So, I am going to make up an ugly one right now. So right over here we can see what I ended up doing with the battery. I strapped it to an SSD because the uh, the metal case is is good for dissipating heat. And there we got the hookup. So very, very rednecked up, that's for sure. Anyways, here we have the original fan. One, two Phillips head screws gets you onto the inside and we see there's actually really not a whole lot going on here. Everything going on is behind here. So this unit is definitely an interesting piece of technology. All that we got going through the top here is the wire. The wire that goes from the fan to the lithium ion battery. The motor on the inside of here is just what we can see here. It's just within this little chamber. Of course, very efficient, unbelievably efficient. Very small motor, very cool. Unfortunately, I don't really need the uh, fan, but I definitely needed the backup battery. So this is definitely some good stuff to have. I love this kind of stuff. Got it on sale, as I said, probably about five bucks US. Really interesting, really practical. I'm going to be using this in, in some projects I got coming up. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Like and subscribe if you like this stuff. It's always appreciated. And as always, folks, take care of each other. Have a good one, folks.